Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. In this video, I want to talk to you about Employee Center, in particular, tasks on Employee Center. I had a requirement recently from two customers, count them one and two, where they had the idea of making sure that project task would show up on Employee Center so someone could see all their tasks that are assigned to them. And I was like, hmm, I've only ever demoed project tasks within the regular UI, not on a portal or not on Employee Service Center or Employee Center. So um, I knew about this little guy at the top. I'll use my arrow here to show you what I'm talking about, my tasks. And I went over there to my tasks and I could see stuff like you're seeing here, annual goal update. And I think on the other instance I was in, there was like a coaching task or something like that. And I was like, well, we've got an interface here for tasks. How do I get project tasks to show up in here? And it was much easier than I thought. So I've got right now set up two project tasks actually assigned to the account that I'm logged in as, which is System Administrator. Um, and it's actually my head's in the way. You can see System Administrator right there. And so my goal with this video is to get those tasks to show up on the portal. And the first step to do that is we're going to go to Employee Center Administration. And in Employee Center Administration, there is a some administration options for to do's. So you can see right here to do's configuration, filter categories, filters, and filter conditions. Uh, we're going to focus first on to do's configuration. And what I want to show is project tasks. So notice I get to pick what table that I'm picking from or looking at and what conditions and what tab they're going to show up on when you're looking at that widget on the portal. So let's go ahead and add project task. And I'm going to do open project task because that makes sense to me. So project tasks open. And then I'm going to look at the project table. Um, now, as I'm talking through this, notice I can pull up any table that extends task. Okay, any table that extends task. Um, it's actually showing me that so far I have two records that are matching because I only have two project tasks in my PDI. Yes, I'm doing this in my PDI. I'm not in one of my fancy schmancy showcase instances. And we're going to want to change the filter here to the assigned to is dynamic and I'm going to pick me. So that way the person who's viewing that on the portal is only going to see tasks that are assigned to them or me um, because they're logged in as themselves. The other thing I want to do is make sure that the state of that project task is actually open. So we're going to do is one of and pick pending open work in progress and we'll leave closed all the closed ones out of this and that's it i'm done with that so i've set up my condition for the title row we're going to set that to the project task name i believe name is one of them nope i don't have number let's go short description short description everyone there we go short description and for the detail row we'll also do a field and i'll just pick the full description for that project um, in fact i'm going to do um, on the title row, actually for this one, I'm going to pull the project, um, let's see, project, 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 let's do top parent, oh that's right, parent, let's go parent, and let's see here, because I want the project name to actually show there, so let's expand that, give that a chance to reload here, and the idea is uh, I want the project name, so go to name, change, release, zero touch, Net present value, okay, that's not what I wanted. How about short description? Or is it project name? P-R-O, P-R-I, P-R-B, project demand, manager, project, project type, project task, that's not what I want. How about short description? I can't remember what the field's called. I guess I could go look at a project and save you all some time. I don't have short description, so, hmm. That isn't exactly what, let's go back to project task field and I'm just gonna pick the project field. I'm going to toss it over there. So there we go, project, project, and then I'm going to add the longer description in the Ds. Let's go description, and that way we get some context. And that's like, let's do it, include a link to the task so someone can open it up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit save here, and when I hit save, I'm going to get a couple other options, some widget mappings and some filter conditions. I don't want to map this to any filters or to any widgets, so it's just going to use the default one, which is what we saw there on the Employee Center. So let's take a look and see if that actually worked. I'm just going to go back over here to my task. I'm going to hit refresh and see if I see my project task now. And look at that, they're already showing up. So I have demo project task one and demo project task two. If I click on that, I'm seeing the project number 
or the project name and the project task and then I've got the demo project task and if I click on this it'll actually take me to that project task where I can see you know like I'm looking at a request in the portal right so you could probably do some other fancy stuff there I just wanted to get this in so I could actually see my project task in that widget but I'd also like a filter in my showcase environment there's a whole string of filters up here and uh, I don't think mine's showing up because there's no filters corresponding to this, I think. So let's do that. Let's add, see if we can add a filter. We'll go back up here and do to-dos filters. And I want one for project tasks so it doesn't show everything else, just the project tasks. So let's go ahead and call this project tasks. And uh, it's not gonna be a filter group. I'm gonna set it available for any user if that's an option. Um, is it all users, any user? Users with the ITIL role. Um, I just want... I probably haven't defined like a all users, so let me do um, ITIL non-admin. Let's just see users with the ITIL role. That should do it because I'm an admin and I should have ITIL role. And it'll say displays only project tasks. All right, we'll save that one and we should see some menus open up underneath that. I don't want to associate a category, but I do need to associate a condition. So let's create a new condition. And for the config filter condition, I'm going to do new. And then we're going to call this one project tasks. So I'm setting a condition of what I want to show there. And for the config, it's a project task is the one we just created. And that will automatically populate the table for us. And then the conditions, I'm just going to do task type. I don't know if this step is necessary, but I'm just going to make sure that it is a project task right there, project task. And I don't need any additional conditions. It is active, so I'm going to hit submit. Ooh, I put that in my service now store updates application. I did not want to do that, but that's okay. I can get rid of that later. I'm going to hit submit, and now I should have a filter showing up. Let's go ahead back here, hit refresh, and see... Uh, yeah, I don't see my filter yet, but that's okay because I can show you what I was trying to do. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. It might be an Employee Center Pro or Employee Center Standard, but let's take a look at my demo showcase and let me show you what I was talking about for those filters. So there's the filter by that shows at the top that I was trying to look at in my PDI. And what I did in um, my showcase instance is I did the same thing I just showed you and there's that project task selection and I can apply that and it's just going to show project tasks that are assigned to me in the open. Now I did this uh, quickly to show you how this works. Now you could um, go and create another uh, to-do config for completed project tasks, right? Maybe they want to go look at their completed stuff and not necessarily just the open stuff. So that's it. I wanted to show you real quick how to get project task or any task, right? Because you can look at any table on that My Tasks widget in the Employee Center. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in adding different task types to Employee Center for people to see when they log into the portal. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.